Good morning, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, Magnetic Reversal News, and Shinrin Yoku, bringing you a Grand Solar Minimum Update Monday, May 3rd, 10 a.m. Mountain Time, 2021. The models are in, and they're showing snow through May. We'll get to that. The big story, tornado causes damage in Tupelo, Mississippi. Residents advised to take cover. Keep calm. It's boom time. Damage reported in at least three cities after tornadoes tear through M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I. -S 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 -I -I. A confirmed tornado is headed towards Atlanta. Breaking news currently. And people in the downtown area are warned about its potential path. Here we see crews working to remove a huge tree that came down right next to a house on Madison Street in Calhoun City. Destruction was reported across Mississippi after a round of tornadoes swept through the state late Sunday night, damaging buildings and littering roads with downed power lines. The National Weather Service in Memphis posted a series of tweets warning people to take shelter as the tornadoes tore through Tupelo. Whew. Take a look. Hail that was so massive that it penetrated into homes and left cars windowless. This happened four days ago in Texas, and there has been massive hail uptick in the last 10 years. Some of the biggest record uh, breaking hailstorms happened back in 2010 and now again in 2020. And it has everything to do with cosmic rays peaking back in 2010 and a new modern maximum currently. 2010 solar minimum, 2020 solar minimum. More hail is coming. And let's take a look at the damage report in recent times, shall we? No doubt about it. Hail has been the biggest weather story in Oklahoma so far this year, but let's look at this past hailstorm we had and then compare it to other large hailstorms since 2010. Let's first take you up to Calgary. I know an area that you don't really think much about hail and say so you usually think of Canada and winter storms, but Calgary, the hail capital of Canada and since 2010 have had three major hailstorms dropping at least golf ball size hail totaling 1.2 Uh-oh, something's happening. Totaling $1.2 billion. Another city, you usually don't think about hail, Denver, Colorado. I know the Rocky Mountains, you think more winter weather. The mountains, and while uh, right along the front range, notorious for getting lots of hail, usually when you get hail, it's a lot of small hail in Denver, and it looks like it snowed in the middle of July. But since 2010, they have had two major hailstorms. Matter of fact, the costliest storm in Colorado history, the hailstorm that happened just a few years ago, Ago, and that totaled $2.3 billion. But how about this? Phoenix, Arizona, the desert southwest. It's hot, it's dry, but hail. How about the most costliest storm in all of, uh, of the United States when it comes to hail? Happened in Phoenix back in 2010. Golf ball size hail made it across the city. And with a lot of those homes in that Spanish tile, pretty much all those tiles were cracked. That's right, the costliest hailstorm in the United States history in Phoenix, Arizona. How about San Antonio? Usually you think down across Texas, it's hot, it's dry, but that heat can hold a lot of instability. And when you get a thunderstorm to develop in Texas, yeah, it can hold quite a bit of instability and quite a bit of large hail as well. Great fruit size hail made its way across the city back in 2011. And then just a couple days ago, they had another hailstorm that made its way across the city with some very large hail. Dallas, another city this past week that experienced a significant hailstorm. And they had a storm just a couple years ago back in 2012 dropped softball size hail when you drop that much hail from Fort Worth all those communities and then to Dallas you know you're going to see a pretty expensive storm out of that and back in 2012 that storm totaled 900 million dollars and then we have Oklahoma City and Norman 1.5 billion dollars and that all comes in off of just three storms as a matter of fact the first storm the costliest storm that we had when it comes to hail came back in May of 2010 do you remember May 10th 2010 and then how about May 16, 2010? If you're living in Oklahoma County, how could you forget it? As a matter of fact, we had our first hailstorm that came in, dropped softball size hail, and produced almost $600 million in damage. And then six days later, we had another storm that dropped softball size hail across the city, and that 
led to $1 billion in damage when you factor these two storms together. Yeah, I know. Two storms, six days, that much? My goodness, that is an expensive storm. And then you go to last Wednesday in Norman. Right now, the estimate $500 million in damage. And so when you look at that Norman storm, and then you look at this right here, uh, the May 10th and the May 16th storms, as a matter of fact, when you look at the records, pretty much that was tabulated together because it was difficult to tell which hail damage came on the 16th. And then which damage came from six days earlier. So this right here is considered one storm. And then uh, the storm on uh, on Wednesday and Norman made this the second costliest hailstorm in Oklahoma history. Well, and there's only going to be more of that to come. Based on all the information I told you, cosmic rays have reached a new maximum. Cosmic rays cause increased hail size and more cloud nucleation, which means more storms to produce the hail. And we are entering into that time frame, 2021, 2022. We're going to see the largest hail ever in recorded history around the world. Mark my words. We've been right already. Why wouldn't we be right on this one? 18 inches of snow, 70 mile per hour winds, large hail forecast in Colorado. Holy macaroni, it's already happening. Storm forecast to bring over a foot of snow comes with flood concerns. This is in Northern Colorado and we're gonna check the models and show you why. And let's just move them through here. Here is your Monday, that heavy snow moving into Northern Colorado all the way down into Tahoe in Northern New Mexico there, take a look at that. A little bit of storm in Ontario. And then here we have May 5th, May 6th. Here's your May 7th. Snow's gonna begin to move into the Northwest on May 7th, heavy snow in Washington State, May 8th. May 9th, it moves over Montana and dips back down into Colorado for another big event. So we are not over with snow in the Rocky Mountains through May 11th. And that's the forecast. Here's the National Weather Service at weather.gov and what they have to say. Weather Ready Nation ambassadors, we are. Severe thunderstorms and flooding in parts of the central U.S. Severe thunderstorms and heavy rains may bring damaging gusts. Large hail and a few tornadoes. Flash flooding across parts of the southern plains into the mid-Mississippi and lower Ohio valleys today. So heads up in those regions. And Europe does not look any better. Take a look at the snow in the U.K., Hey, hey, that's going to continue up in Ireland and the UK all the way through mid-May. Similar to the US, snow in the Alps and some, some significant snow over here up in uh, Russia. Unseasonable snowfall buries the mountains of South Korea the other day. Have you heard about this? Even NOAA data reveals significant cooling. Unseasonal snowfall blanketed the mountainous areas of Gangwon province east of Seoul on the final day of April, a time usually known for South Koreans for its summer-like warmth. <laughs> Look at that global warming goodness. And it's getting harder and harder to maintain the lie. Global temperatures sink further in April. This is the UAH global satellite temperature data as predicted below baseline. We said it would be there and it is there like swimwear. The temperature last month, April 2021, is the same as April 1980, 41 years ago. Same temperature. Hello. Seismic update. No quakes of note. We got this popper out here in Mongolia at 5.6. Fagvradishval volcano did an update over at Magnetic Reversal News on stunning lava fountaining happening there. And I will give you a sneak peek. This is a shot from Grindavik town of the Fisher eruption in Iceland in Fagradishval mountain, and it has turned. Well, it's gotten a little jiggy. Lava fountaining was seen to at least 300 meters or 900 feet the other day at 1 a.m. local time. And I'm sure certain people who were up at this time, it, were, it blew their mind. Almost looks like a mushroom cloud. So quite a change of events over at the Iceland volcano, as you can see there. There is a new paroxysm and a new phase of eruption with hiccups. What the changes from calm to lava fountaining might mean, well, no one knows. What we do know as geologists is that there is an increase in volatile gases 
causing this activity. And this lava is coming from deep within the mantle, so we'll keep a close eye on it. Rechianus volcano has a sore throat, according to the locals. Scientists find the oldest evidence of ancient human activity deep inside a desert cave. The Wonderwork Cave site south of Africa is one of very few places on Earth where human activity can be traced back continuously across millennia. And scientists have established the oldest evidence of archaic human habitation in the cave 1.8 million years ago with continuous habitation for million, at least a million years where they can actually see the changes in the types of tools they're using. Absolutely spectacular. Scientists find billion-year-old fossil life, something which has never been described before. Now, as a paleontologist, this blew my mind. And here you're looking like a rotten Brussels sprout fossil. But it's a billion-year-old fossil. It's an enhanced microscope image, shows the outer wall of a sausage-shaped cells, enclosing the inner cell mass. Now, we do have billion-year-old fossils that are stromatolites in the form of algal mounds, but this, this is something completely new. It almost looks like the brain of an alien. And so check out the paper if you want to know more. I hope you got something out of the video. Boom! Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance in a magnetic reversal world and a grand solar minimum world you're living. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people. And click on one of the other boxes to gain more knowledge. And be safe. We love you. No, 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 no.